today we take on Antonio Conte's Newcastle at St. James's Park. We've got one new signing to talk about and we've got a few results to run through, so let's do it. And the deal is done for James Madison. £68 million is the fee. Thank you to the board for getting that done. We are looking at one more. Just one more. I know, it's crazy. We've spent upwards of £400 million this summer. He's very much an upgrade in the attacking third. And you'll see him in action today. Now for those results we've had since we've last been together. And the Community Shield was won. Thanks to a free kick from Rodrigo to Paul. An absolute beauty. So we've won two trophies in two games. Obviously winning the FA Cup in the last game of last season. And the Community Shield in the first game of this. And we started our Premier League campaign pretty well as well. We beat Southampton by three goals to one. Sotalo scoring twice. And I thought he was going to get a hat-trick as well. He was unlucky in the second half. An own goal rounding it up with Orsic with the reply for Southampton. Then we had an early season game with Manchester City. It finished goalless and we probably should have won the game. But we didn't. But Manchester City have yet again failed to score at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Which is funny as hell as the game ended goalless with one of our Titan rivals. So the competition screen is going to look very full this season. Obviously the Community Shield is done. We can forget about that for now. Carabao Cup, we've got to wait a couple of rounds before we get involved in that. FA Cup, January of course. Champions League, new format. We'll find out our opponents in that in the next 10 days or so. In the Premier League, we have only played the two games so far this season. Four points from our season thus far. There are only two unbeaten sides left in the Premier League. Arsenal are one, Newcastle are the other, though they've only played one game so far. They've played a lot of Conference League football so far, Newcastle, to get through to the group stage. So they're rusty in terms of Premier League, but they are definitely not rusty in terms of playing games. They've played a lot more than we have. Let's see how we get on at St. James's. So here are the two starting lineups for this one as Pope starts in goal for Newcastle. Scavallini, Otamendi, Longley, Trippier, Gamares, Joyberg, Botman, Almiron, St. Maximin with Isaac leading the line. Lots of former Tottenham players in the starting eleven. As we start with Costa in goal, Frimpong, Romero, Sotalo, Adogi, Rice, Madison, Bentancur, Kudusevsky, Human Son with Harry Kane leading the line. Now, Newcastle is a very difficult place to go. We know that ourselves. We have had a few humpings down the years. 7-1, 6-1, 5-1. Yeah, including last year, which was horrible. But I was out, so it was fine. I was watching someone run the marathon. And by the time I got home, it was all over, thankfully. So let's see what we can do today. Come on, one win, one draw so far. Let's get another win on the board. That is Newcastle have got a lot of players back behind the ball. You would expect that with Antonio Conte. It's a counter-attacking system. It's a five-at-the-back system as well. Boring. Very boring. That I enjoyed the first year under Antonio Conte. The second year, not so good. It's a free kick to Newcastle. It's our first highlight of the game. Nearly half an hour into it. And it's into the back of the net. Premier Pierre-Emerick Hoiberg. But I think he might have been offside. I'm hoping. Really, really hoping. No, the goal has been given. Is he offside? No, he's not. That's poor from us. That's so poor. Yeah, we know that goal's awarded. Berate them. Absolutely. Wake up. Come on. Ball in. And Pope has got them. Does that count as a shot on target? I mean, we've literally seen nothing from us so far. Absolutely nothing. Long lay. Plays it back into Otamendi. Joyberg. Around the corner. He's giving it away to Declan Rice. Thank you very much. Ball through to Yumin's son. Will he find a teammate? Will he find the net? He will. It's an own goal. It's off of Scavalli. That's already our second own goal of the season. And we are somehow level before half time. They gave the ball away. In a very dangerous position. Thank you, Pierre. He remembers his roots. Ball in. Nice cross from Human Son, but yeah. In fairness, I think Madison would have tapped it in. Or Kane. Is that Kane? Is that Madison? I can't tell. Anyway, half-time, one all. Somehow, we've had two shots in the first half. <laughs> They've both gone in the back of the net. Which suggests the second half's going to be better, right? If it continues at that rate, 
depending on how many shots on target we have in the second half, we could be in for a stonking second half. Pope with the goal kick. Going short to Longley. Pressure on the ball. Out to Botman. Pressure on the ball. As he sends it long looking for his act. Keepers come. Keepers claimed. Jesus Christ. Amarong's gone for a ball in towards St. Maximum. The danger is not over. Don't bring him down. He's a very tricky customer. Will he get a shot away? He will. He hits his own teammate. And he'll win some. Wax it clear. Free kick. Madison with it. In range for James Madison. It's off the wall and over the bar. No James Ward-Prowse at the minute. I didn't realise he had a suspension hanging over his head. So he will be with us at some point. It's his last game today. So, yeah. Expect to see him when we play Arsenal in a couple of games' time, I would have thought. Sun with the ball in. Declan Rice not there to win it. I think our substitute bench is going to do a job today, isn't it? We are going to make a couple of changes coming up to the hour. Gilman Sun is going to be one of those. Kingsley Common is going to come on for him. James Madison is going to come off. Rodrigo De Paul is going to come on for him. I want you to go out and make a difference. Let's go. We haven't seen the best of Kingsley Common so far. Gordon with the challenge. Bentinker picks up the loose ball. Trying to come down the centre. Plays it towards Harry Kane. Botman heads it clear. Rice will pick it up. Shoot, Declan. It's opened up for him. He got a shot away, but it wasn't a good one. Benson Kerr. That's why you should never listen to me. Bruno Camares comes away with the ball. Newcastle have got a free kick. Benson Kerr pulled him back. Probably the best thing he could do. Don't normally see a booking. That's probably how poor the game has been. <laughs> the bookings are getting seen. Rodrigo de Paul with the free kick, though. Plays it towards the back post. Benson Kerr over the bar. Doki with the throw. In towards Coman. We have seen more action in the second half. Wasn't hard. It's over Toki with the ball. Totalo into Rice. Look how many Newcastle players are back behind the ball. Trying to find a gap through that is, yeah. It's like driving, trying to drive a mini down a tunnel. A very small tunnel. Frimpong into, I don't know where I'm going with that. Kuliseski's picked the ball up inside the penalty area anyway. Harry Kane in to the back of the net. It goes, it's his first goal of the season. And we somehow lead. I don't quite know how. Clement Longley with a mistake. Former players are coming back to help us, it would seem. Yeah, just gives it away. Same as what Hjoyberg did in the first half, and Harry Kane taps it in from no more than three yards. Right, let's make a change in the centre of the park, shall we? Bensicur is on a yellow card. He is going to be the man to come off. Dewsbury Hall is going to come on for him. And we are going to pray. We are going to take a doggy off, and we are going to bring on Lucas Hernandez. By no stretch of the imagination has this been a classic. But we're going to win it by scoring from a total of six yards at this point. Kudusevsky coming away. Got to follow it in. Long lay with a good challenge. Ball towards Gordon. Ball out towards Botman. Plays it in early. Romero gets it away. Gives it away though. Poor passing has been... Well, it's been everybody doing the same thing. Joe Linton with the ball in. Headed away by Hernandez. Come on, flicks it on. Kane will pick it up. Just hold it, Harry. I think that's his first sight of goal this season, really. As he comes inside the penalty area, he gets a shot away. Pope with a save. That would have tripled the amount of distance. That was about the penalty spot, wasn't it? As Pope sends it long down the field. Totalo heads it forward. Gordon. I'm reminded of Michael Kane. It's not the size, mate. It's how you use it. Not the size, mate. It's how you use it. It's not the distance, mate. It's how you use it. Declan Rice with the ball through. Nice ball through to Dewsbury Hall. Will he score? He will. That is 3-1. That has doubled the distance. That was about the six-yard line. And we will take the points back to London. Thank you. Keenan Dewsbury Hall off the bench to score. Who gave the ball away? Gamares this time wasn't a former Tottenham player to complete the hat-trick. But there is number three for us. All right. Maybe 10 yards out. 16 yards total. Give or take. Four minutes of added time. A good away win in the end. Bit of drab affair, but we will take it. Winning at Newcastle is not something we do very often. And there it is. Newcastle 1, Tottenham 3. Now, I did say at half time, we'd have a brilliant second half if all the shots went in. Ours did. Newcastle forgot the memo. So that result, as I said, does move us up to second place. But we have played three games in the season. No one is getting carried away. 
not least me. So we will play a couple of games, Fulham and Aston Villa to be precise. We will look at the end of the transfer window before we come back for that game with Arsenal at home, which is an early one for us. We normally play Arsenal away first and then home second, obviously. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. We'll round up the Champions League draw as well as we will start to get into that following the Arsenal game as well. We might show you a couple of games from that, depending on the opposition. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.